This is an Archon sound on film. The edge numbers are between the sprocket holes. The soundtrack is where Super 16 would go. This is a picture of me talking. And what I did was I ran this through the printer with a piece of print film on top of it and I copied only the soundtrack. And this is what I got. A nice crisp soundtrack. Now in order to print the soundtrack I had to turn this wheel around so that the sprockets are out this way. The film feeds from the left to the right with the emulsion side up and the sprockets towards me. That's the way a positive reversed black and white film projects. The soundtrack lamp is on the far side in the gate. That's the switch for the lights. This is the dial that controls the brightness of the soundtrack. It does not register on here. So it's trial and error to find a setting. And six and a half worked great. There's a hole in the smooth middle of this and what you do is you use an Allen wrench and you loosen it and you pull this off and there's a flat spot on the axle. You turn it around and you push it on. Try to center it on that flat spot and then you tighten it again. That's all there is to it. And if this is smooth on the end you did it right. Now a positive soundtrack on reversed film is a white squiggly line surrounded by black. A negative soundtrack is a black squiggly line surrounded by white. That's how you can tell the difference. Now you see where that uh, squiggly line begins just be one frame beyond my fingers. The soundtrack runs 26 frames before the picture. So if you find the first picture where somebody's starting to talk or you clap a clap sticks, then you count 26 frames and you'll find the spike for the clap or where the speaking begins. This begins on one frame and there's a pause in between for one and a half frames. So I don't know what that word is, but that's a word. My only goal at the present time is to determine the chemical time temperature development concentration etc to get a good soundtrack and I got a good one. So I'm going to print it and I know I would get the same thing back that I have here in my hand. I want to be able to add a soundtrack to whatever I'm filming. It just might be narration or something, but I could send away and have it done. But I want to be able to print it. It might just be a music. The uh, soundtrack has to be printed in one go, and then the film has to be put back into the printer. The pictures would be printed first, and then the soundtrack. That's two passes. If I wanted to get the numbers uh, synchronized or a soundtrack synchronized with the numbers, you would need a hole punched in the film and somehow match the two of them up. And that was pretty easy. I laid the soundtrack that I printed over top of the original here because I started at one end and the white disappeared when the black lined up with it and I punched a hole. 
I use this thing to hold the two pieces of film together because it has sprockets. So that held them and then over here I punched the hole through the two pieces. That was really hard. You can't hardly use a hole punch through two pieces of film. Best to locate the one frame and then punch one and then the same frame punch another. Then in the dark you would uh, get those two holes over top of each other as best you can and then the sprocket wheel would do the rest of the aligning so that you could synchronize. The negative soundtrack had to go through the printer emulsion side up but tail first. The same light setting was used to print. It was six and a half and there are very sharp spikes. Should sound good. I'm going to stick this soundtrack onto the start of the film. So you'll hear this sound and then you'll hear the sound in the picture at the same time. Wait for the hum. There we go. Not too loud. Alright, if I do a second turn, the ground turn. Alright, if I do a second turn, the ground turn is about five. This is about a third of our time. It worked. I don't know why it's so muffled and everything, but it works. And my printing worked. It sounded the same as the film that was original. That was the objective. Copy the sound. There is no neutral on this projector. You have to move it to rewind and have the film set up to rewind. And then turn on the motor. And it rewinds. And it also runs the fan, and that's how you cool the bulb. Let it run and turn off the sound. The tone doesn't matter, but this is the motor and the lamp. That's all it is. There is no neutral on this projector. You have to move it to rewind and have the film set up to rewind and then turn on the motor. And it rewinds. And it also runs the fan. And that's how you cool the bulb. Let it run and turn off the sound. The tone doesn't matter. But this is the motor and the lamp. That's all it is. So run the fan until it's cool. It worked. Job done. I copied an Archon soundtrack 